Aries. This is your weekly tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries Tarot. It is for Aries Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign videos. And I always recommend that you watch your Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign videos. I also always create an extended video so that you can carry on the message with me and we can go deeper together. And that link is right below. Now, brief interruption. I love you guys and I want to say Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and Happy New Year. Thank you so much for the success that you have brought to the channel this year. We've grown exponentially, my Aries community, and I am so, so grateful. Now back to your regularly scheduled broadcast. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe and then ring that bell and select all notifications so that you know when I upload your favorite content. For example, Aries content gets uploaded every single Thursday. Um, if you want even more astrology, tarot, and spiritual content, I have a whole other channel. It's called Astrology Motivation. I'll attach that link right above here. And you can join me for my daily tarot card readings, which I do live. And you can actually share live chats with me. And that'd be so awesome. So please check that out and subscribe over there too. And also, I post a lot of cool stuff over on Instagram. So find me over there on other social media platforms as well. The links to those are in the banner of this channel. You'll see the little icons on the right-hand bottom side. Please go and use those links only, no other links. There's a lot of scammers and spammers and horrible people pretending to be me on Instagram. And, and I wanna let you know that I never DM people. I never solicit any kind of uh, personal readings. I do provide personal readings, but that's all through my website, no other place. And um, I only have the profiles, the social media profiles that are linked to those links on that banner so you can get to the right ones. Okay, let's go. Aries, where do we start, dude? Aries, on this beautiful Christmas, almost Christmas, really near to Christmas, right? Aries, 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 Aries. Aries. Act as if. That's a really ambiguous energy. Act as if. Act as if everything's okay. Just try to blend in. Go under the radar. Or try to understand different kinds of people by getting into their skin. Not getting under their skin like a bad itch, but like putting yourself into somebody's situation to encourage your empathy. This could have so many meanings. It could also mean that there's a sense of falsehood right now, a sense of pretending, but I don't pick that up at all with the beautiful move of Mars into Sagittarius. There's such a lightning and a relief to your energy. It's a very beautiful energy to, for Mars to be in. Feels very free, very liber liberated, um, really exceptional energy. And so I don't see this as a negative. So let's, let's keep going with the cards. You see clearly now, ah, so this could be somebody's falsehood has become evident, right? And now falsehoods aren't always, hey, I'm deceiving you to manipulate. Well, yeah, I mean, they are manipulating you. But it isn't always for bad reasons. Sometimes there's just a sense of I'm going to be false because I'm scared to be anything else. Or I'm trying too hard. Right, and, and you're starting to realize that about somebody. So seeing their truth isn't always this huge negative, like deceiver, deception. No, sometimes it's just realizing that somebody hasn't been sincere with you. You know, somebody hasn't been sincere with you for whatever their reasons are. And now there's a time to confront that. You see clearly now, act as if whoever has been, in other words, whatever has been hiding Whatever has been hiding in plain sight, whatever's been pretending to blend in, all those flies on the wall, now all of a sudden they're becoming very evident to you. 
So it's an empowering moment for you, for this reality and truth to have basically washed over you. And then wolf spirit, turn knowledge into wisdom. So there is two now energies of deception or psychic awareness that wasn't necessarily five sensory, you know, our five senses, sensory knowledge. Um, but definitely there's a sense of, I get it. I get what I was feeling now. I get I understand there's a deeper understanding to what's really going on, understanding somebody's emotions, um, revealing your own emotions, somebody revealing their emotions to you, starting to realize, oh, I get it now. I understand what this person was to me or was trying to show to me. This could be as simple as um, finally realizing somebody likes you. It's finally realizing somebody's into you, right? Maybe there was just a sense of it didn't really occur to you because they use a different love language than you or they use. Yeah, they, they use a different they took a different approach. Right, Aries, there could be um, suddenly realizing what somebody wants. What is this employer looking for? I don't get it. Why do they keep rejecting? Oh, right. All of a sudden it's like getting it because you're not really looking with your eyes, even though it says I see clearly. You're not really looking with your eyes anymore. This is the heart space. This is recognizing truth and what has to be done to live in the truth, right? Also a sense of getting to tap or actually make contact with what's really going on. So I'm called to these cards for some reason. What is really going on? What is this? Oh, yeah. Listen to your heart. This is a card of good luck. This is a card of when you follow your heart, you get great things. Great things happen to you. Abundance is all around, right? Um, but this is definitely a sense of you have sensed something. You have known it intuitively. You have wanted it. You have desired it. And now there's clarity that is helping you to move forward with it. To have confidence in it. Right? Because even though you may have suspected something was going on, somehow it was it blent in too, too well. My dog is snoring so loud. It blent in just a little too well. And maybe, maybe the truth is this, the other person or situationally, somebody hadn't come to full awareness yet that something was going on. This could even be you. You weren't really clear that something meant so much to you or that this was actually an opportunity that you wanted, et cetera, et cetera. So now all of a sudden it's like whatever was tumbling around emotionally has become very, very evident and very clear and you're gonna go after it because the clarity is everything after the clarity you guys know how to take action and it's like poof I even get that this was happening holy shit let's go what is this about I would really like to know. And the thing is, it could be about a lot of different things for you guys, right? So many different kinds of people, Aries with all these different aspects, different moons, different rising signs, react to things in so many different ways or so many things are important to them. But this is the energy of this, this, this moment. We have watch and wait, Piscean energy. So this has definitely been something that you or somebody has not been able to take their mind off of or their eyes off of somebody's been very patient and hoping for this also a sense of 
admiration. And then we have trust the great mystery. Trust in your emotions. This is you diving into your emotions. This is Piscean energy. This is a scent. This you also are you dealing with a Pisces? Because this is big Piscean energy. This is a sense because you have the, the wolf spirit here. That's like the moon card in this. For me, it's like the moon card in this deck. So there's a lot of Piscean energy. It's just like um, a knowing, a psychic knowing. Uh, I knew it. I got it. I could feel it for so long. Also, so much emotion. Very emotional. There's like it's overcoming you, overwhelming you. So instead of fighting it, you're just going to dive right in. And that's what's happening is the dive right in. See this card, six plus five is 11, awakening, awakening to all the abundance and all the joy that is actually here for you. You're just recognizing it. You're just realizing it. Oh my God, I can't not take this opportunity. I want this opportunity so bad. And it's here for you now. Look at this. Life is speeding up. Bam. This is Gemini energy. You're going to get communications in. You're going to actually be able to connect with somebody, talk with somebody, make motions and make waves and make moves and make progress through connecting and communication. Maybe you're going to hear what you want to hear, hear what you need to hear. Forget about what you want to hear. He, hear what you need to hear to be able to be what you want to be and living the life that you want to live. Let's start getting into a little bit of tarot. Which direction are we headed? I really want to know a little bit more of what this is about. Five of Pentacles here is usually being broke ass, being down on your luck, having nothing, or at least in sense of your focus on money is changing because this has got nothing to do with finances. Uh, anything financial and then we have strength cards so it's 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 making a big sacrifice this could also be a, this saying you're give, you're putting everything into this this is a huge investment for you you took a big leap of faith in this and you may actually be somebody who legitimately invested money into this and ultimately invested everything that you were are into this, which whale spirit says too. It says, hey, you're going to dive right in. You're going to take a deep dive into this. And it took a lot of strength, but at the same time, you got this. You want the fight. You want the charge. You're jumping right into this shit. And then we have king of chalices, king of cups. So a uh, Scorpio Pisces cancer energy. This is somebody who holds back their emotions. This is somebody who waits and kind of says, but do I really want this person? Is this somebody that's really for me? And then we have two of cups. Yes, it absolutely is. This is a wonderful romance relationship, a connection. Um, somebody who could have been friends friends with you for a while. You know, like somebody who, who could have been in your life sort of on the peripheral. And... Um, and now they're not. They're becoming something much more. This could be somebody from your hometown. You know, somebody maybe returning home brings the two of you back together and brings this all up to the surface. I love that about tarot because beyond energy, it gets really specific. This, this, this has got, I definitely know this has got nothing to do with love. So let's get more into the nitty gritty of all this. Because there is now passion that is very clear. Hold up. Breathe. A, this is about take one step at a time, right? But it's also about breath of fresh air. Like finally feeling like I can breathe again, like I'm not suffocated. And then a sense of unfinished symphony. You do have some shit that is still unfinished with this person. Something had started. There's also more breath, more communication. This is all about singing, singing a song. This could be something musical connecting you or there's just that there's harmony between the two of you. Finally hearing that harmony. Right? And if this isn't, yes, please apply this to something other than a romantic situation if you don't care about romance right now or you're, you're, you're taking care of romantically. This is definitely a sense of maybe you needed a breather 
or maybe somebody needed a breather from this craziness. You knew something was unfinished, but ultimately you didn't have the answers then. There wasn't something you could do about it then because you didn't have the information you needed. The information is coming and the information is something that you've been keeping your eyes on. You've wanted to know. Maybe somebody's been keeping their eyes on you. This has been in waiting a long time and it could have been riding underneath the surface in that psychic realm that the moon rules. This is also kind of emotions that were pent up and somebody kept to themselves. And now, because you, you want to complete it, right? You want higher power. It's taking you closer. Higher power. Moving forward. Connecting more deeply to something outside of yourself. This is also something that will renew your faith in God. Um, this is also scorpionic energy. Again, you could be recovering or healing from a great loss, a great deal of suffering, um, a great deal of pain. It's like now you're finally start starting to see um, kind of like the way forward out of this painful situation um, by basically just sort of like handing it over. You're finally able to have faith again. You're finally able to, to reconnect to happiness. There's joy here after a long period of seeming death, right? So something's coming back to life. Regeneration. This could even be you and your own energy being regenerated. So all of this is beautiful energy. Let's get more. What did I say? Communication is key. New moon in Gemini. Once again, there's communication coming through. You're finally getting, the whole story is finally here, right? Because somebody's finally calling you, telling you something. You're speaking to somebody. Gemini energy is about having a conversation with somebody. Um, it's not just about intellect. You're learning something usually through a conversation that you had with somebody. So this could be friends or any, whatever. It doesn't matter. It's a one-on-one -on -one conversation that opens your mind to something so much bigger, an opportunity, or gives you information that you needed to lighten your heart and lessen your load. Your commitment is being tested. How badly do you want it, Aries? How badly do you want it? But in other words, there's not going to be any excuse. Now, Aries, you usually don't need shit. You, you, you have the energy in you. Once you know it's there, go after it. So in other words, any kind of excuses you've been making to yourself about, oh, hem and haw, but I don't know, but I'm not sure, but I don't know, but I'm not sure. You're going to be sure. You can absolutely be certain. There is going to be no fucking doubt. Be certain. Right? A sense of in your face, yo, your move. Your move, Aries. Your move. Now you know. So what are you going to do with it? What are you going to do with this information? The cards on the table are telling me that you're going you're gonna to jump into this. I wonder who this is dealing with. You're going to jump at this opportunity. Because this is all you've needed. This is, is kind of all you've wanted, really. This opportunity. Once again, we have a higher power here, right? Right? Hang with me. And then we have Father Sky, trust in the unknown. This is going to blow your ass away. You're, you're not even going to realize that anybody was listening to you. That anybody realized that this is what was deep in your heart and you needed so badly. This could be something that you never knew that you needed, and now you have it. You can't understand how you lived without it. High priest, intent and create. So maybe there is more intention than I'm speaking of then. We have trust in the unknown, but there's a priest here. This is spiritual connection. This is definitely having a link with the eternal through faith. Also a sense of being so secure in your faith, you're walking in faith like a priest would. I'm not saying you're becoming a priest, but this could also be a spiritual awakening or somebody that is a spiritual figure helping you to move forward and recognize and realize the next steps you have to take, connecting you deeper to the universe, God, gods, whichever you'd like to call it. Um, this, this opening, broadening, I feel like you're reconnected to faith again. Like, in some ways, faith is what you had lost, and now faith is back. Faith in someone, faith in a situation, faith in yourself. And this is through spiritual guidance. You've probably been digging deeper spiritually. 
and now there's this enlightenment that you need. What is this trust in the unknown? Okay, this is all great, but where do we go from here? It's beautiful energy. Aries, where do we go from here? What's Aries supposed to do? What do you want them to know? Where does Aries go from here? What's Aries supposed to do? Temperance. This is Sagittarius season. <laughs> Mars is going. Yeah. Okay, great. Mars is now. This is where you went. So where, where do you go from here? Sagittarius. What does Sagittarius have to do with it? Finding a way to make things work. The information that you've been provided for is now your key to resolving some serious issues or making making something work that didn't work for a very long time. Real, like, like, oh. Okay, I'm going to continue this in the extended. I hope that you guys can come with me. There's so much more of a message here. Please remember to like this video and then share it on your social media platforms. Aries. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the extended.